Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, Calvary. Amber here, and I'm really excited to talk to you uh, today about Matthew 10. And we're going to read Matthew 10:26 through 33. And it says, So have no fear of them, for nothing is covered that will not be revealed or hidden that will not be known. What I tell you in the dark, say in the light, and what you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetop. And do not fear those who can kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather, fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny, and are not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father? But even the hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, therefore, you are more value than many sparrows. So everyone who acknowledges me before men, I will also acknowledge before my Father who is in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, I will also deny before my Father who is in heaven. So we need to understand the context of this passage because it starts off with have no fear of them. But we need to understand who the them that Jesus is talking about. So in chapter 10, Jesus is sending out his 12 disciples to go out and preach and do miracles. And he's giving them instructions. And so he's sending them out and he's saying persecution will come. And he has the section before, the day before this, talks about persecution. And then he says, have no fear of them. And so the fear, we're not supposed to fear persecution. You don't have to be afraid of people. You don't have to be afraid of what people can do to you. You don't have to be afraid when those things come. Because he says, don't fear the person that can kill your body. Rather, fear him, God, who can destroy your body and soul in hell. And so there's persecution going on in the world right now, all every single day. It's just not a reality for us right now in America, but it is all around the world. Um, and th so this is a verse that people can cling to all around the world every single day as they face persecution for believing in Jesus. Um, they can choose to trust God and fear him, God, who is Lord of Lord and King of Kings. He's the creator of the whole universe, the sustainer of our life, and our savior for all eternity. And so we have a choice. Are we going to choose to fear and worship and stand in awe of God, who we've placed our eternity in, and choose to trust him, even if we face persecution, and stand true in our faith to him? Or are we going to let fear rule our life and deny God in times of persecution or fear? And so we have a choice. There are people making this choice every single day around the world, facing real persecution, where if you choose to follow Jesus, you can be excommunicated from your family and friends. You can have a death sentence put on your head. You could lose your job. These are realities people face every single day all over the world, and they have since Jesus told his disciples this. It's not new. It's just something we don't face every single day in America right now. And if you want to read some of those stories about what's going on with Christians around the world, there's going to be a link down below um, to Voice of the Martyrs. It's an organization that documents what's going on around the world and Christian stories of the persecution they face um, but they're very inspiring because it, they always point to Jesus and their trust in Jesus no matter what happens. And so from this, we can understand that we don't have to be afraid. We might not right now <laughs> worry about someone killing us because we live in a free country. Um, but if that day did come, we don't have to be afraid of that because we can choose to put our trust in Jesus. The Bible tells us over and over again not to be afraid. Do not fear. Because if we have our trust and our faith in Jesus, then we don't have to be afraid of anything. You don't have to be afraid of what's going on in Israel and the Middle East. You don't have to fear for what is going to happen to our country in the future. You don't have to fear for your kids or your parents or your spouse or for yourself. You don't have to be afraid of anything. You can surrender that fear to Jesus and you can choose to trust him knowing that he cares for you. That's what the rest of the passage says. 
is that he cares deeply for you. God knows when every single bird dies. And he's saying that you are way more valuable than any bird. And so he cares deeply, intricately for you. He knows how many hairs are on your head at any moment, at any time. And not just you, but every single person on the planet all at once. That is amazing. That is the kind of power and authority that God has. And he cares for you. And because he cares for you, he loves you, he saved you, you can trust him and you don't have to be afraid. You don't have to be afraid in the small things and you don't have to be afraid for the future or what might come because we can trust God. And remember, fear is not from God. That's what I have to remind myself anytime fear creeps in, whether it's my hypochondria coming in and saying that I'm going to die from something or me worrying about my kids or anything else, I have to stop and remind myself, fear is not from God. He tells us not to be afraid. And so I can choose to trust God and surrender that fear and walk in faith. And I hope that you can too. So remember, God loves you. He is with you. He has saved you and you can trust him and you don't have to be afraid. Hope you have a great day, Calvary.